this is such a strong role for a woman, for anyone. Um, but I think a lot of people will recognize someone who gives everything away so that there's very little left for herself. Talk about the appeal of this role for you. <sighs> I mean, I don't know. I just read it and I, I relate to her. You know, I think I, I, I read it and I went, I mean, her circumstances are so different than mine. But I just, I understand that feeling of like, I thought I was okay with what I've been given. I thought I was okay twisting myself into this pretzel or bending over backwards in this way to get what I need to survive. And like, whoa, wait, actually I'm not okay. I need more. And I think that's kind of what like our culture is waking up to right now. Unfortunately, Lisa gets really confused about how to get the things that she needs. But I relate to her anyway. I relate to that confusion too. We spoke earlier that um, there was a smaller budget on this, but that you believed in the project so much that you had to change in the bathroom. Yeah. So talk about being in these big budget movies and then coming back to something like this. Here is this independent filmmaking, like at its best. Like we were like, you know, yeah, we, we shot it for nothing. We shot it in 22 days. We ran around New York City with people with a camera on their shoulder, you know. Uh, we, like I said, yes, I, I changed in the bathroom in the Staten Island Ferry. Um, and and nobody should ever do that, um, <laughs> if you can help it. And, and so I wouldn't have done any of those things, that running and gunning, that super, super hard work, that fighting to get the money that you need to make it, the fighting to get it seen. I wouldn't do it if I didn't love it, because it's not worth it. But if you love it, just like any other work uh, involving something you love, it, it's, it's worth it. And, like, I loved it. Talking about loving something like that, when um, you were growing up, you had the influence of art around you, I would assume. Mm. Did you rebel a little and reject that initially? Or was it just something that was innate that your parents recognized in you? No, I, I don't think I ever rejected... Um, well, how do I put this? I think some of the things my parents gave me were such gifts, wonderful things. Um, and some, I don't want them. You know, some of them are things they didn't mean to give me. They handed me down from their parents, and they were broken things, and they were confused things. And, and I think part of being an adult and being alive is sorting that out. Um, and I don't have it sorted out, but I'm, like, working on it. <laughs> you know, well, if you do, much. please share. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah.